Welcome back to more dead cells. Last time we got to the right hand of the king. Uh, how close was that to the ending? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, hopefully it was really close because it was like an hour long run and we kind of at least felt like we were skipping a lot of things. Can we just boot that guy out of here? I, I love that. I love that as an item that we can, sh that we can just kick people off of stuff. Let's go. Can I freeze them, kick them, and then we're good. Now, what type of build are we going to go for this time? I don't know. It it definitely depends on what items we get. For right now, we really don't have anything green. We're just going to grab this. It. I know, you're like, we always do brutality. And the only other thing we've ever done is survival. You give me some purple weapons that are actually useful. Besides this one that we currently have, which is really useful. I know, I just contradict myself just a tiny bit at the very beginning. But, like, for real, we I'm assuming we're going to end up replacing it with another red item. Specialist shop. Responding to the most eccentric of demands for over 15 years and at least 8 updates now. Nice. Uh, pay the tribute or turn back. I don't know what any of these things are. That looks like a map. I don't really care for a map. I want to find out what this is. That looks interesting. There's a scroll of power directly above us, so we have to go up. What is this, though? Is it... Hunter's Grenade. Use this to annoy a monster, but when its health is down to 40% or less, use Blueprint Extractor. Oh, interesting. So if we can injure an enemy, we might be able to get a blueprint out of it? It is colorless, which means we're probably going to do what we always do and go for Brutality. Right now, we're just going to go for the more health. This is the very beginning of... A run. What's in here? There's nothing. Something hidden here. Drumstick, which we can't use because we're fully healed. What is this? Prisoner scratched some words on the wall. Why? Filling the prison with in it. Messages unfinished. I'm assuming it's why fill the prison with innocent. But then again, all those prisoners were full of the malaise and they died. So I don't know how good their medical technology is. We're definitely switching that one out. It's just better. You know what, that... Okay, so let's use that. Undead Archer. Wait, did we just... Did we turn him into something better? Blueprint Extractor 2. I'm so confused as to what, what we ultimately accomplished with that. Maybe we want to go slower right now and extract more blueprints. Yeah, we got we got a blueprint extractor. Are we turning these enemies into being more complicated? I think that's ultimately what's happening. Use the blueprint extractor too. I would love to. Oh, wait, we did it. Ice shield. Um All right, that was good. We did get a blueprint out of it and I I'm pretty sure we're going to make it to the next there. He's been dead for a while. Promenade of the Condemned. Did we get here in two minutes? Two minutes and four seconds. <sighs> the, con the confusion over what the heck that item did was our undoing. But we did at least get an ice shield blueprint out of it. So at some point we'll be getting more items. I think that shop that we went to to get it was whatever the heck we were unlocking before. But we still don't have the Hunter's Mirror, so we can at least find out what that is soon. We want this one to be better. Yes. I mean, just one strictly better that we can afford. I don't know about spending our money on that. We, c we might as well just save it. They do look a lot like me. Oh, till you've chosen your mutations. Clearly, we're gonna go for this one. I, I I am under no illusion that we are strong enough yet where 
the one extra life is not worth it. And in the promenade in the town, we are still looking for keys so we can move on. We don't have much damage. So more so now than ever before, we just kind of want to run past everything. That statue, I don't think it does anything. At least not yet for us. Goodness, he just will follow us to the ends of the earth. Can we get close enough to kick him? Did not appear that way. Let's go. There's a... Oh, there's a door up there. I'm, I, I'm gonna check even though it's gonna be like, there's no one here. Yeah, no one. But like, what if there was? At some point, I feel like there's gonna be someone there. You know, they, they, they can't just hold out on us forever. A shop that we can't afford anything, we can actually afford one thing, and it is a super awesome thing. So there's a weapon in there, but it had the floor rune, which I don't believe we can actually open up. Maybe we can. I still feel like we cannot. Let's see, we have the choice Nutcracker 2 or Fire Grenade. Oh, it does extra damage if the target is frozen? Well, yeah, sure. Then we can freeze him and then Nutcracker him. Okay, but where are... Wait, no, this isn't the same. I'm, I'm so confused. Well, I'm not confused anymore. I was so confused. We're just trying to get through here. I wanna, I wanna crush those birds beneath my feet. We can actually go down, but not down enough, so we have to go to the right. Let's see. Like this, what is that? Do I just have to go from higher up? I don't know what it is. Crap. Yeah, let's go down. At least we gotta scroll the power out of this. We're going back to red items. And then I think we'll go to green and we'll just kind of go back and forth. Maybe get one purple, just to kind of balance it out. Ooh, an ice grenade. Definitely better than a fire grenade at this point. Just because of what our nutcracker is based off of. So it does more damage to frozen things. So we say to ourselves, let's get more frozen things. To the glory of our illustrious ruler, something, someone added something underneath. We'll skin you alive. A brave and courageous message. We did find the king. Someone left cow's head here. Whoever it was, he was a bit of an artist. He carefully traced the king's coat of arms on the animal's forehead. So they don't like the king. And I don't like the right hand of the king. So maybe we can group up. And finally get something that we want out of all of this. We need... At least two keys to go up there. The keys might sadly be in the one area far to the left where we needed to uh, use the floor rune to go down. This is what I'm going to call it because I have no idea what it's called. It can be whatever we want it to be, you know? That's how this game is. Just make it your own. Let's see. Uh, we got this. What gives us more health? Technically, tactics over survival, but not not by enough to where it matters. That 9%. Uh, this is another room we can't go up. I would love to find out what it is. Got some more food. And we're just, we're making great time. Those guys need to get gone. Can we go up and over this? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Look at that. That's how you, you stealthily get out of the way. And what is over here? Is this... Is there a key? Is there two keys? Are there two keys, rather? We'll go for health. I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> oh! I was right. Goodness gracious, that that was a rough one. Oh, another shop, and we can't afford anything. 
But we can teleport back out and not have to fight any of the enemies. So if we skip all the enemies, I mean, we skip the possibility of taking a lot of damage. But we also skip a little bit of money for all of them. Can we defeat 60 in a row without taking too much damage? And by too much, I mean any damage at all. That's what we were tasked with. With the combo that we have, we should hopefully be able to do it. Like, there's not much better. It could just be 30. I don't know what room is better, though. The, the time-sensitive one? Or not? Uh, did we get any... I don't remember if there were any items over here, or is it just the entrance to the ossuary? Yeah, we'll skip that. For, we'll skip it for now. Uh, I don't think we need a firebrand. Maybe it does like a ton of extra damage because it's plus plus rating or something, but that's not what we need. 60. How many did we get? Doesn't say. Doesn't say. We did get a lot of money and cells. So I'm fine with that. Sinew Slicer will go for this because it's just strictly better. I love the slap teleport. The slap runes. What do we do when we get there? We slap. That's what we do. That's what we were trained to do. We were trained to slap. We were born in the slap. Molded by it. We could upgrade it. We could upgrade that one. We could upgrade that one. I would say this one first. And then we're too poor to do anything else. Give us more damage, please. That would be great. It doesn't... Oh, it doesn't help us when it comes to those bosses, though. Because it only gives us extra damage for 8 seconds after we kill an enemy. I mean, for the right hand of the king, it would help. But for the two bosses prior to that, the concierge and the, the clockwork guy, whatever his name is, Mr. Clockwork, Mr. Clockenstein, Freeze, crunch. That's what we gotta do. We gotta break through the door, freeze, and crunch. Just just make it your own little mantra. Freeze and crunch. Sometimes these enemies are going down with just the freeze. That's fine. But we have the ability to also crunch them if need be. We got a blueprint for a scheme. Crap. Well, we took damage. So now we're at a loss? Or... Does it start over? I don't know. Is it we have to take no damage at any point while also doing this thing? Oh, it's like a little mini concierge. So he's only kind of annoying. That's fun. Let's go. Um, a hidden secret. We got a tiny bit of money. Crap. I don't want to. I don't want to be over here. We gotta work on our dodging because we are not doing great. What can we get out of this? Hopefully a better item. Flammable, okay. Victims explode afterwards. Inflict critical hits after setting an enemy on fire. <laughs> uh, it doesn't combo well with what we have, and is of relatively comparable damage. So for now, we're going to say no. I do like swords better. But overall, the Nutcracker is currently the better option, just because of how it combos. And we do have two abilities that freeze. We got the ice grenade and we have the ice frost bolt. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Look at that. Just, oh, skillful dodges that I'm doing by accident. I, I tried to roll towards the other enemies both times. So don't, don't, don't get it wrong and be like, oh, he, he did that. He did that out of just pure skill. I'll let you know when it's pure skill. Because I'll be impressed with myself. 
But I don't want you to be under any false pretenses that I'm that I'm actually good at something. We'll get to that later on. Scroll of power. Of course we're gonna go for red. Should be should be pretty obvious at this point. Somehow we have two purple ups. Which was tactical? Or something. I don't know. It's hard to remember what all of them are. We'll know in about probably three runs. You can stop being like, oh, he's just going to forget every time. No, just for the first first several. Look at that little puff. Oh, the Black Bridge. That is where we want to go. Right? That's where the concierge is. He's on the bridge. That one was a 60 enemy one only. Okay. Scheme. And your next melee attack after using a skill inflicts 238 damage. That one's pretty, pretty solid. Especially with what we have right now. We're one away from the Hunter's Mirror. No, I was going to say, especially with what we have. Like, it would combo incredibly. With, like, use an ice grenade. And then we get an additional, like, 200 damage on top of the fact that we already get extra stuff. Reduces your infection level when you kill a boss, of course. We don't, I don't think we have many better mutations at this point. Not that there aren't any better mutations, it's just we have not unlocked them. We, we, we have blueprints for some pretty solid ones, and we'll get to those after we un unlock uh, the things I'm more interested in right now. Look at that. Frozen. Crunch. Frozen. Crunch. Hopefully he doesn't do anything ob obnoxious like that. Let's just stay slightly out of the way. Freeze. Smack. Roll. Freeze. Smack. Roll. Ice grenade. Smack him. And then stay far enough away so he does that but not too far where he dashes at us. Okay, we can do this. Freeze. Oh crap, he resisted it. Um, don't, don't, don't get too close. Crap, I messed up. I should have jumped. You were all screaming at jump, jump, and I just, I rolled into the fire. Not sure why. It was the wrong decision, I know that. Resist, don't get any closer. <laughs> well, we would have at least lost it there. At some point, you gotta get him to move over. And since we already took damage, we might as well just fight him mano a mano. He's not doing that much. Like, look at this. We can just take him out. I think if we just stay here like this. Yeah. Like, come on. It's, it's hard. It is hard to beat him without taking damage, but it is not hard to beat him. Knife dance. Um... Not really. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Frantic sword. Um, damage to a target covered in burning oil. No. No, no, no. We don't want those. So, we want to take money from them instead. We just got to remember to not just leave the weapons that we don't want. 15 minutes. Easy, easy peasy. Another 20 cells. Thank you very much. Is this better? Get gold as well as a cell. Okay. Yeah, sure. Damage from projectiles reduce. I mean, the Topaz Amulet's probably fine, but... If we can get more money in addition to the cells that we're already getting... That sounds fine to me. Reforge. We'll save our money for now. Yeah. 25% of the items we found will be of plus quality. The Legendary Forge. I think that's the more important one. Yeah, because who cares about this? I care about it because we should have saved one. Well, no. We don't need to. We'll get it at a different time. We don't want to change our mutations. We just want to We just want to carry on peacefully. Still villages over there. We have no way of going up. So to Stilt Village it is. This is the one where we definitely need the keys, right? Or were we... 
I don't think we were taking one of the moving platforms up into the sky. Maybe we were. I don't know. It seems like that was not the case. These guys are obnoxious. No, we don't need that. We do need to look for... Well, not that. That's for sure. That's, that's a detour to nothing. We do need to not mess up these jumps. A key room. That's what we want. Perfect. <clears throat> Took no damage getting here. Don't let the facts betray you. The facts do not care about your feelings. Just kidding. Facts are incredibly important. We made it here, and we did take damage along the way, but we will get the key, and we will slap Rune our way back. Look at that. And we were significantly more prepared on our way out. Somehow we got a scroll of power from this? Let's see... What are we at? 625. I think we can just balance it. Just always, always be balanced and go for uh, red first. I want to, I want to go up and out of here. I don't know how to stop all of that damage from coming in, but we're just, we're just gonna get out. We don't need to be around these parts. We do need this. We always need the upgrades. I think I think it's safe to say it's always worth getting those. If it's a, it's if it's a slight detour, sometimes running past the enemies makes me take more damage than if I would just try and fight them. And it's times like that when I start to second guess whether or not I should be running instead of fighting. And then I remember that if I fight, I also just take a lot of damage. Another statue of the king accompanied by a guard. And a very big one at that. A little too big, maybe. Yeah. The right hand. Now we know. That was the key. Oh, yeah. We gotta get the key to go through there. There's a new key for here. I think we definitely take the upgrade first. Easy peasy. Did not mean to ice grenade there, though. Simple as that. I feel like if if we really wanted to and we wanted to try our hardest, this build that we have right now, Slap Room, would be like the best opportunity to do the 60 enemies, take no damage. But like the things just teleporting to us, like the, the point blank teleports. I don't know how we're supposed to get over that. I can I can handle enemies that I can see, but the ones that come out of nowhere, those ones are a little frustrating. Give me the food. I don't want to be too slow. Look at that. At least those guys die, like, immediately. And also, it's nice that the Frostbolt is so fast. I don't know about you. I, I'm, I'm not used to all of this yet. That was crap. That was just... Oh, that was just rough. Now, where do we need to go from here? Can't go up. We can get another scroll of power and an item, which we will definitely do both of. But where do we go? What is this one? Quick to use, but not super powerful. Infantry grenade. Does a lot more damage than the things we have, but I would rather, you know, keep the 9% healing. Because we can actually use it during a boss fight. And let's go up. Okay, so we do ultimately need to go up with one of these things. And off to the clock tower. Clock tower was a lot of exploration, if I can remember properly. We have only been there one time. Not even close. Not even close. Here we go. One cell in the hunter's mirror. We got it. Transforms objects found on the ground in the chest in gold more than the previous version. 
Should we try to even go for any of these other things? I think... Plus more DPS if there's no enemy? How is that useful? Or if there's no enemy near you? Maybe it's just for, like, archery stuff. That's weird. That's a weird one. I think we take tactics. That's a mutation I would actually use with some frequency. Do we want to reforge this for, like, all of the money that we have? Plus, plus. I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll just leave it. Yeah, we're done with the mutations. We're going on. We're going to the clock tower. We're going to find out what time it is. We need enough gigawatts to go back to the future. Find Biff. Stop him from winning a ton of money on sports. Because that's evil or something? I don't know. The last time I watched Back to the Future was a, quite a while ago. Can we interact with that? No, we cannot. Sadly. I would love to. It looks interesting. Also, I don't believe we need to ring the bells. I just want to. Because it's fun. Okay, our, our damage has stopped. Like, going up. We're, we're starting to be really weak without having frozen the enemies first. So when it comes to fighting things, we gotta make sure that we at least do the little combo that we have. Interesting. Can we get out of this? Yes. These ninja guys are... Oh, come on. And we Yeah, we did it again. Let's just heal ourselves with this thing. Oh, do we need to be over here to heal with it? Or was that just the 9% already? <clears throat> We're just going as left as possible. Oh, alright. Let's get out of here. Scroll of power. This feels a little strange. It feels like exactly where we were last time. Like, I feel like the clock tower is the exact same. That guy needs to stop. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Oh yeah, we definitely need to kill an enemy 8 seconds before we get to that boss. Or we're just so incredibly weak. Like, we're missing, what, half of our total possible DPS? If we have not recently killed an enemy? Which is probably why the choice... Or why they at least have the choice available for when you, like, block something with a shield that your DPS goes up. Ah, this is what we wanted. More cells. More cells. And now we want to teleport out of here. To go where? Down, down. <clears throat> I think we'll take the uh, this one, the earlier round. So we can go down... Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> Swinging. I messed up the joke. Or reference. I don't know. Whatever you want it to be. It's a joke if it's funny. If it's not funny, it's just a reference. Let's kill the bombardier. Because it should be pretty simple. And we're getting something. The boy's axe. Colorless. Plus 50% damage when you're at max HP. That never happens. Uh, roots the victim inflicts 612 damage when called back to the user. Shoot an arrow in front of you. No. It is cool, but I, I don't think it's worth it at this point. What about this one? Downward smash attacks. Burn the ground. Um, minus 10% damage received. I think we have to do it. Y you hate to see it, but we had to do it to him. Okay, another power up. We're going for Brutality, since our switch of passive item. We need a Clockmaster's key. Okay, so I don't remember if that's the key we found last time. It at least is not a key that we possess currently. We need to kill the nearby enemies first. That's fine with me. I believe, at least. If they stop attacking through the walls, I would feel a lot more fair. Okay, let's take out that one. Oh, he was so incredibly close to dying. We also need to get him. 
But he's in a different... He's in a different area of the clock tower. How is this fair? Let's go. Let's get out of here. Shoot. Okay. Now we can at least heal up. I want them to go away. We gotta find the other guy linked to it. This should be enough. We got it. Amethyst. Oh, it's just a weapon unlock that we don't want. Oh, crap. Is there a slappy rune around here? I believe there was something. That, at least. Is there anything... Even useful? I think we should just go to the right. The key we're looking for might have been just a little north of where we were. I mean, vertically north? I don't know. North is usually on a on a flat plane, not a vertical one. But it is it is it is vertically above where we were, at least. Okay, what does this one do? That's the enemy with inflammable oil inflicts crits. Nah. Nah nah nah. We don't want it. We're going to nutcracker this one all the way. Because then it'll at least remind us that we have the ability to freeze enemies. I'm excited for when the day comes where we are good enough at this to just be able to actually get the 60 enemies killed. This one is... How does it compare? Does a lot more damage. Ammo plus 3. Um... Yeah, we'll take it. And we also have the at least opportunity to upgrade it. Get out of here. And we'll sell that one. Or recycle it. There should be, yeah, a way to get out. Every time there's a shop, there's a way to get out. Which means, at least how this map is looking, could be an area to the left of that. I hope not. Um, it could be an area up and to the right of that one. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with this one. Cause otherwise I have no idea where we need to go and it's just gonna be a lot of backtracking. Scroll of power. We are gonna throw it over here in survival. Just trying to stay balanced. 10, 2 and 2, or 10, 2 and 10. Is a is a fine fine balance in my eyes. Because we don't really have much purple which is tactics being very useful to us. They managed to drop those bombs at like the exact perfect location. Get out of here, little ninja. Is it just another shop? Oh my goodness. Does that mean there's a teleporter up here? That was, I mean, not really skillful dodging, just lucky that running away allows us to survive okay scroll of power green we're never gonna take purple not this time i think we took it we did take it once just because we wanted the healing oh i remember these doors i remember them more so in the castle though examine the grimoire the bodies immersed in the latest solution are changing less quickly I must extract the essence of the solution and apply it to other volunteers. So they're just trying to figure out... Well, this is just story, I guess. Yeah, nothing nothing as far as the run is concerned. Just learning more about the malaise, though. Oh, cursed treasure chest found? Wait, what do you want? What did I what did I do? You've outraged the god. Just one little hit and you're dead. Eliminate ten enemies to lift the curse. Oh my god. We get hit once and we die. But we do have our one passive thing that will boost us. What is this? A ruby? So we got a lot of money. Broadsword. Of almost four thousand damage. Are you insane? Yes, of course we're gonna take it. Who cares? If we hit anything, it should die, right? We need the bell tower key. Maybe it's up 
top of here. We gotta be very careful. Very, very cautious. Oh, crap. One hit and we die. Oh, my God. We could just die getting the key. I'm so frustrated by that. Nope, that was it. That was the end. Mm, we probably should have just stayed there and then, like, crouched down or something. It was too good to be true. The cursed chest gave us such an incredible item. We shouldn't have gone for the key. We should have tried to kill ten enemies, I guess. I don't know. I was greedy. Hopefully next time I won't be nearly as greedy. We saved almost 10,000. There is another secret here. Scratch that wall. Beginner's bow. And we take it. And this time it hasn't gone away. Interesting. Oh well. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's our Dead Cells run for today. Hopefully next time we don't make the mistake of dying. I feel like we should still open a cursed chest like that because it, what, quadrupled our damage? Which is nothing that we could get from any other source. So we gotta do it. But next time, hopefully, we can do it with a lot more finesse and not nearly as lethal consequences. And hopefully we can beat the right hand of the king, because that was how far we got the previous time. But for now, that'll be all. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell if you really want to. Just let me know if you liked it, if it was rough, if you want me to do better, or if you just like when I do bad and I make stupid mistakes. Let me know. But for now, that'll be all, and I'll see you on the next one.